Hey, are you ready to learn some new things on the guitar? How about learning the building blocks of some of your favorite guitar riffs? Or maybe some of the seeds that will help you bring out your own creativity? If so, grab your guitar and let's learn. You know, the USS Fingerstyle uh, guitar champion, Chris Proctor, he has a great quote that says, our musical minds know everything that they have ever heard, but our hands only know what we have trained them to do. Hey, I'm Steve Krenz, a professional guitarist here in Nashville uh, for Guitar Gathering. I'm glad you're here. If you like the content that we put together, then make sure and take a second to hit that subscribe button, and that will help us as we're uh, uh, for you to be notified when we go live for things like this. Tonight, we're going to be talking about thirds. And before we get started on this great workout on playing thirds on guitar, make sure to download the PDF that goes along with this lesson. The link is in the YouTube description. All right, that's enough of me talking. Let's get to playing. First thing we're going to do is take a look at that PDF and look at the first example there we have on the uh, starts on page two. Remember we talked about in the lesson that we did previously, if you haven't watched that, the link for that is gonna be in the YouTube description down below. We did that previous to this, the lesson. We talked about how there's two forms for playing these thirds on guitar. So we're gonna start with form one and we're gonna do a root on the sixth string. All right, we've got a graphic that we're gonna try and put up on the screen there that's got all of the uh, information there for you. Now, the numbers that you see that are circled, those are your finger numbers. So that's what finger numbers you have. I've written it out in music notation as well as in tab. So let's play this together. I want you to put your second finger on the sixth string. On that G right there, we're gonna do thirds in G. First finger is gonna go on the fifth string at the second fret. So get that shape first. Two, one. Second finger, first finger. Very important. The next two notes, we're gonna work our way up the string. The next pair is gonna be uh, with your third finger at the fifth fret on the sixth string, that's an A. The next string down, the fifth string at the third fret with our first finger is this A and a C. Look at that shape. Three and one. Two and one, three and one, all right? So let's go back to the original one. Two and one, then we go three and one. Now I want you to go up two frets, same position, three and one. Okay, I want you to go up now one fret and go back to our two and one position. So now that's a C and, and an E. Now we take that two and one shape and we're gonna move that up two frets. D and an F sharp. I want you to focus on the pattern of what we're, talk, what we're doing here. Then I go up to the 12th fret with my third finger, go back to the three and one pattern. 12th fret on the E, first finger on the G. Then I go up two frets from that. Now if you're on an acoustic guitar like me, you're, you're um, uh, kind of getting up here in the stratosphere a little bit, so you have to do the best you can. And then you can go back to two to one, or since I'm kind of up off the neck, I'm gonna do three and two right here. So that's the pattern. It's a combination of two and ones and three and ones. Let's do it again. Okay, we're gonna start right down here at the third fret with our second finger on this G, first finger on the B. Okay, then let's move to the next one. This is a three and one. Then up two frets, another three and one. Up one fret for the two and one. Up two frets, just stay that same one, two and one. Then we go back to three and one. We go two frets up from that. And one fret up back to two and one. Or three and two if you want to. Remember the pattern that we talked about? It's two of them on each. So there's one here and then there's two of these. Two of the two and ones two of the three and ones, and then a two and a one. So that's the pattern. Two one, then two of the three and ones, two of the two and ones, two of the three and ones, and then back to a two and one. So it's, it's all in pairs, it's just it starts in the middle of one, is how that works out. Let's do it again. It's more, I want you to think about the pattern, that's what's important. So let's just do maybe four beats on each. So I'll just count you off. One, two, four beats on each, go. One, two, three. Three. Next one, three and one. One, two, 
three, next one, three and one, two, next one, two and one. Ready, go. Two, two and one, up two steps. Two, three, four, three and one. Two, three, four, three and one. Two, three, four, two and one. Freeze, hey, can you do it backwards? Let's go backwards. We're gonna start on this two and one, ready, go. Two and one, one, two, now down, three and one, go. Two, down two steps, three and one. Now back to a two and one, ready, go. Down two steps for another two and one, go. Two, three, now back to three and ones. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Let's give you one more shot at that. Now I'm, I'm hammering it home because that's everything in this workout depends on whether you get that pattern or not. Here we go, try it again. You got it, one, two, two and one starts it, go. The one, two, now three and one, ready, go. Now move it up two frets, three and one. Back to two and one, up one fret. Up two frets, still on two and one, go. Two, now the three and one. Up two frets for three and one, ready, go. Now two and one, ready, go. Let's work our way back down, let's play that top one again, go. Two, now three and one, ready, down. Two, three, four. Two, three, two and one now. Two, three. Four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. We're gonna do it one time through. Let's do half notes, so it's gonna be two beats on each. A one, two, a you know what to do. One, two, now two beats. down it's a scale in thirds based off of a root that's on the sixth string so we've got a little track we've got a track it's a thirds in G track and we're gonna put on that track and I'll guide you through it I'm not gonna play through the whole thing but just we're gonna do this whole notes going up and then half notes going up and down. So let me get my music out here. Here we go, one, let's get that track going. Two, one, two, ready, whole notes. Two, three, four. That top note. Sorry, we'll start back at the bottom again. Half notes. Now we repeat the top note. We'll go work our way back down. All right, let's do it one more time. You got it. Back to whole notes. Maybe you can do a little rhythm with it. Slide into them. Okay, go back down to the bottom. Do half notes now. Back down. I'm just getting practice on this form. Very good. That's thirds in G, going up and down on the sixth string. I realize it's kind of low, but what I want you to focus on is the pattern. Two, one, three, one, three, one, two, one, two, one, three, one, three, one, two, one. Why is that important? Because everything evolves around that pattern. So let's say I wanted to go to another key instead of G. Let's say I wanted to go to maybe, maybe a, a B flat. So how would I do that? Well, I put my second finger on a B flat on the sixth string. 
Okay, so that's home base for me. So I still do the same thing. There's two and one. So you find this. I already know how to play this. You're the one that needs to learn this. Put your second finger on the sixth string, sixth fret. First finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. That's home base. Okay, and then we're gonna work our way up. So it starts on a two, one. We'll do four beats on each. Two, ready, go. Now, three and one. Up, two, three, fourth, another three and one. Now a two and one. Another two and one. Now, that's about as far as you can go because you start running up, up here too high. But remember, you can also go down low. There's also underneath it too. Two and one, three and one, three and one. So you can do them in any key. So now let's do let's do that again, and we'll just kind of go up to the F, and then we'll work our way back down. Start here on this B flat, four beats each. One, two, ready, ascending. One, two, three. Move to the next one. Three, one, two. Move to the next one. Three, one, two, three, four. Two, one, two. Three, four, another two, one. Let's go back down. Back to down to E flat. Back down to two, one. Three and one. There you go. So it depends on whatever you're root on. Put your second finger on that root and you go from there. All right, hey, we've done them in G. We've done them in B flat. Let's move to the next string. Whew, Steve, do we have to learn a new form? No, that's the beauty of guitar. It's, it's done in patterns. So I'm gonna put my second finger on this third fret, C, and now we're gonna do these bad boys in C. All right, so take a look at the screen. We've got another example there. This will be our second example for the night. We're gonna do a C and an E. So now we're gonna do them, walk them up in a C scale. Same pattern as we did before. Ready? Four beats each. One, two, ready, go. One, two, now a three and one, go. You're just plucking the fifth and the fourth string. Two, three, four, two and one. Now two and one, ready, up two frets. Now another three and one, ready, go. Two, three, four. Let's go back down, play that top note again, and one, now down three and one, go, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, now a two and one, ready, go, two, three, three and one. All right, hey, let's kick it up a notch. I'm gonna add, Let's add, I've got this open G here on the third string, and that's the same, that's still in the key of C, so let's add maybe that open uh, G to it. So let's maybe even do an arpeggio, maybe we can go. Okay, something like that. One, fifth string, fourth string, third string, fourth string, and then we'll just move up. Something like that. Here we go. One, two, back down on C. Ready, go. Next one, three and four, or three and one. Three and one. Two and one. Two and one. Three and one. Three and one. Two and one. Back down a little bit faster. Go to repeat that. Three and one and three and one and two and one. Two and one. Can you go up all the way up through it? So it's something like this. Let's try doing that. One, two, ready, back on C, go. Shift, shift, 
shift two and one, two and one, three and one, three and one, two and one. Repeat that top note. Three and one. Come on, you can learn it. Don't give up. Don't give up if you stumble over the first thing. Man, you're gonna stumble over everything on the first try, first couple of tries, okay? It's about doing it until you can get it. So if you didn't get it today, hey, go back and do this workshop again tomorrow, and then you can see if you can get a little bit better at it. And by the end, you're gonna be rocking it. What am I doing there? Fifth string, fourth string, third string. Just that same arpeggio. That's the seed pattern right there. And then you work your way up. It's about creativity. It's about pulling out that creativity in you. All right, hey, we did them in C. What if we did them in D? Well, no problem at all. I'm just gonna shift up two frets, and now my root, the, 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 the seed of all of this, is gonna be on the fifth string with my second finger, and I do the same pattern. Let's just go back to two notes, okay? And uh, let's just play them, instead of, instead of together, let's just play them as an, one right after the other, okay? So to work our way up, and we're gonna do them in D now. One, two, ready, go. Now, next one, three and one. Now, it's getting a little high here. That's all right, we can do it. Wow, way up there, repeat that note. Remember, there's some underneath me, too. And you can work your way down like that. We've done them in C, we've done them in D. Hey, we've done them on the sixth string, we've done them on the fifth string. Can, is there, Steve, could we possibly do them on another string? Why, yes, we could do them on the fourth string with the root. So let's do it, oh, maybe, let's switch to an E, okay? And this time, I've got a, an example there for you, but I don't have the, uh, I took away the tab, so it's just the musical notes there. So you're trying to kind of read the notes. It'll help you with the, with the uh, focusing on the pattern of it. Should be putting that to memory anyway, all right? So here we go, let's do thirds and E. So I've got my second finger on the fourth string E at the second fret. First finger on the third string G sharp. Whole notes going up. One, two, ready, go. Two, three, F sharp. Two, three, two frets up. Two, three, two and one. Repeat the top note and go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Back to three and ones. All right, Steve. Hey, we get it. We get it. We can do it now. Great. Let's do it in thirds. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. So instead of going up to here, we're going to go. And then we go back one and go up the third there. Back one. Ooh, let's see if we can try that. We'll go real slow. One, two, E and G sharp, go. Now up to the G sharp and the B, go. Two, F sharp and A, back down two. Up to the two and one at the A and the C sharp. Two, three, back to G sharp and B. Two, B and D sharp. It's a pattern, scoot it back two frets. 
up to three and one, C sharp and E, two, three, B and D sharp, two, three, four, D sharp and F sharp, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, big stretch here, two, three, four. Hey Steve, that's cool and all. Let's 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 uh, let's uh, see what else we can do with that. Okay, well let's let's um, um let's take it up to um, well let me let me show you one more. Let me show you one more, and then we'll then we'll do some fancy tricks with it. So this works. This pattern two one three one three one. That pattern works on the sixth string root. 5th string root, 4th string root, it does not work on the 3rd string root. So we're going to skip that and hold that off to the side just for a second. We're going to skip down to the 2nd string. And let's play 3rds in D. So we're back to our 2nd string, 3rd fret, 2nd finger on the D, 1st finger on the F sharp. We're going to work these up. Same pattern as we did before. So the one on the 6th, the 5th, the 4th, the second are all the same. It's the third and the one on the third string that's different. We'll get to that one next. Let's do these ones in D here first. One, two, ready, D. Two, three, four. 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 Back down and ready, repeat and two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, hang in there. Two, three, four. Learning new things is always slow and clunky. Don't let that deter you. Don't let that slow you down. Think of the toddler that's trying to learn how to walk. Okay, they, they kind of get up and fall over, they kind of hold themselves up and they fall over again. Are they deterred by how many times they fall over? Not in the least. It's all about how, how, many, how, how can they get up in doing it. Let's try it one more time. This time, instead of doing it whole notes with four beats each, we're going to do half notes with two beats. So it's going to go a little bit faster. One, two, same thing, D, go. One, two, next one. Repeat, back down. Hey, just for fun, we've got an open D on the fourth string. Maybe we could do something like a... Two, same two beats we were just doing. I'm going to add an open D in between all of those. You try and do it. One, we'll, we'll slow it down a little bit. One, Two, ready, go. faster. One, two, ready, go. And you can do all kinds of little patterns with them. a little pattern. So experiment around. Find the pattern that works for you and, and keep ex exploring with it. You don't always have to do them up and down. Do them in thirds. 
or just make up a pattern. It's all about exploring with that. All right, we've done them on the sixth, the fourth, the fifth, the second, all in that same form. Let me show you a new form. All right, so let's go back. No, let's even bef before we do that, let's stick on new, that form one for a second. Remember how we did E? Well, now we can do E on the second string too. Hey, let's do that, let's do that. So we're gonna do here an octave up now with the E. So I've got my second finger on the second string, fifth fret E. And we're gonna play it, play it up. Ready, go. One, two, next one, go. Two, three, four. 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 Two, three, getting a little high. Okay, we can add our, we can do our little tricks. Add low E to it. Sorry. We can go finger style with it. That's another way to do it as well. So, all right, so we've done it. All these form ones, you ought to be able to play them in any, any place on any string except for the third string. So let's talk about the third string. So if you're looking at your PDF, let's look at page three on the PDF. Page three on the PDF, we get to the second form. So let's kind of slow things down and take a look at that second form. So if I have a root, here it's written in A. So we're gonna do an A scale, starting here at the third string, second fret. Just working our way up, that's kind of the gig, okay? But look at the pattern, the pattern's changing, we're not two one and three ones anymore. We have, we start out with the, the major third being a bar. Now, some situations you're gonna to need to play it with your first finger, that's probably where we're gonna start, where both fingers, or both strings are being played with the first finger. But at other times, you know, maybe when we get up here, it'll be more comfortable to play with our third finger. Generally, the first and the third are the ones that we do, we tend to do bars with. Uh, it just kind of works, they're, they're our stronger fingers. I don't know why that is, but they're kind of stronger that way to hold a bar. So, we have this bar for the first one. Then the next one, we can go two and one. I don't really care about the fingering as much as I care about the shape. This is the shape for a major third. That is the shape for a minor third. You can do it two and one if you want to. Sometimes you may want to do three and two. Either way, it's fine with me. Okay, so let's just go whole notes really slow and I'll talk you through it. Same pattern though as before where it's one and then two of them together and then switch forms, we go two of them together. So let's start out with the bar. One, two on the A, ready, go. Third string and second string, two, three. Now two and one, up a fret. Two, now just move that same sh shape up two frets. Two, three, maybe we can do a bar here. Then up two frets, do another bar. This is a major third. I did it with my third finger there. Maybe back to two and one, two, three, up here, two and one. Maybe you can do the third finger since we're really high up. Two, three, four. Do it again. Repetition. Don't, don't get bored with repetition. Repetition is how we get things done. Um, do it one more time. One, two, three, four. Two, three, two and one, go. Come on, learn, learn, learn. We're going somewhere with this. Two, three, four, bar. Now we scoot that bar up two. Two, three, back to two and one. Two, three, another two and one here. Maybe a third finger bar here, ready, go. Let's go back down. Repeat the top note, ready, go. Two, two and one now, go. Down two frets, ready, go. Two, back to the bar, down a fret. Down two frets with the bar. A 
I'll tell you, guitar playing is just not that complicated once you start learning these patterns. Down two, two and one, three, four. Do it again, just two beats each this time. One, two, ready, go. Bar, and then two and one. Bar. Don't worry if you can't get it this first time. Do this workout a few days and you'll get it. Then bar. Stay there, work your way back down. Down two frets. Back to the bar, we do two of those. Back to the two and one, we do two of those. Hey, what if we added an open E? Open E is in the key of A. So we're gonna, just gonna do all three notes, we're gonna add that open E to it, okay? Two beats each, one, two. Now, you may not be able to do the bar then. I might need to do maybe a two and three and open. Because it's really difficult to do that, so I may need to do two and three. The shape is what's important, not the finger. Here we go, one, two beats each with that open E. Ready, go. One, two, two and one. Two and one, back to the bar shape. I'm doing it with three and four there. Two and one, or three and two there. It's just a shape. Repeat it, back down. Just kind of make up your own pattern. You can even add that low A in there. A key, the D, a D note is in the key of A as well. So we're gonna play an A scale with our open E, but I'm gonna have a D as the lowest note. Ooh, how weird is that gonna sound? I don't know, let's find it out. Four beats on each. One, two, three, go. Two, three, four. Scoot it up. Two, three, four. Some interesting tonalities there. Just experimenting around. Remember how we talked about, Phil Kagey said, you stop growing on the instrument when you stop exploring. So it's fun to just explore. Make up your own rhythm. Go. Sorry, I'm going down in half notes. Pretty cool. All right, so we've learned it in form one. And now we've learned this in form two. So I'm gonna turn on, we've got a track for our, our one in A. And let me just talk you through what's happening on the track. I'm gonna take it up in, in uh, whole notes, and then we're gonna go back down, we're gonna do it in half notes up and down, and then I just kinda of have an, an A blues after that. We may even just stop the track after that. But uh, let's just practice this. So we're gonna go up in A, starting in whole notes, not in the open strings or anything, just those two strings, the third and the second string. Here you go, we've got the track going. This is a track in A. Two, ready, go. Now back to that bar. Okay, go back down to the bottom. Now we're going to do half notes. Ready, go. One. Now the next one, two beats. Back down. There you go. Okay. So we've done form one, we've done form two, I've given you a couple of tracks that you could mess around with. Let's talk about some other fun things that we can do with these. Hmm. Well, what can we do? Let's, let's, what if I need to play in C? 
Well, what if I need to, I got a groove in C. Well, I can play these. It's a little low though. Um, the high ones, well, that's kind of, that might work. But actually a better choice might be these ones on the third string. So I'm back to this bar. So you have to make these little decisions of what you're going to do and where you can where you can put these um, when it's when it's time to, to play. So let me show you some other fun things that you can do with those. All right, so we've done them in A, we've done them in uh, all these different keys. Let's talk about what we can do um, to add some different things with these. Let's go back to the thirds in G. I'm not going to put it up on the on the uh, uh, screen, but let's just remember what these were. Okay, the very right we were very started on the sixth string. Let's add some open strings to that. In the key of D, I have an open D and I have an open G. Those work. So what if I played all four of those together? Two, three, and then the next one up. Do that with me. We're going to go open the key of D, and we're going to play the D and the G with them. We've got four strings ringing. So these two are going to be kind of drone strings while these other ones come up. Steve, why would you do that? What good, on, what on earthly good is that? Hey, sometimes you can come up with some interesting voicings. Hey, that's kind of a really hip A minor 11th, if you think about it. This is kind of a C2. The notes in that are kind of a D suspended, but you've got the F sharp and the G kind of ringing out together. So occasionally, you'll find little gems. And you can use these to create an interesting guitar part. So let's just try this. Okay, one, uh, two. Whole notes, one, two, three, or four beats each. Two, three. rhythm up. Back here, back down. I'm strumming, but I'm trying to only hit those lower four strings. good way to practice is just to kind of put things away for a second and try and make some music. Move the next one. Maybe skip a few. What if I had a progression that was maybe, oh, I don't know, a G to an E minor, maybe, to a C, to a D, and I did my little E minor, C, D, you do this with me, okay? There's the G, E minor, there's the E, okay, C, D. So we're doing G, E minor, C, and D, but we're going to add these open strings. You can strum, you can do a little arpeggiated rhythm, whatever you want to do. Four beats on each. One, chicka, two, chicka, ready, go. E minor, way up at the top. C now. D. Back to G. E minor. C. D. We're just starting to get into some really cool territory. All I did there was just add these open strings, these little droney strings. Okay, you can do those at certain in certain keys that work really great. Hey, what if I played them? What if I use this open G as the open droning string, the third string open, and I played my thirds on the second string? 
another way to try it. Okay, um, let's let me show you another one. Let's go to the key of E. Remember we did the key of E ones on the fourth and third string. Well, what if I add that open B and that open E and just do basically the same exercise we just did in G? It just now I'm going to do it on the upper strings. I'm going to play it in E. Okay, four beats each. You can strum us if you want to. One, two, ready, go. It's a little bit of a trick to not hit that fifth string. And what am I doing? Well, if I kind of overshoot my whatever string is on the, whatever finger's on the lower string, then I can kind of mute that string out. You see how I'm overshooting this F sharp right here and that's touching that fifth string so he doesn't ring. It takes a little bit of practice. It's a little bit more of an advanced technique, but you can get it. Do it for me one more time. E with the open strings. One, chicka, two, chicka, you know what to do. I'm trying to slide here. Let's go down. Maybe I can slide between these two. I have to switch forms here. I can slide here. A tricky. Hey, I'm getting into some cool stuff now. Hey, add an open E to it. That's gonna be a little tougher. I might need to go finger style. So you see how you can get some cool tonalities? What if I did a, a little progression with that one? What if I did a, maybe an E to an F sharp minor, to a B, to an A, so one, two, five, and then four, an E, F sharp minor, E, F sharp minor, B, and A, but I added this, these open strings with it too. Let's see how that sounds. One, two, ready, go. Two, now F sharp. B, A, back to E. Play a little progression like that, play it into your phone, into your looper, Get, do that about th three or four minutes worth, play it back and play, you can play anything in E. And then you get some great sort of sounds. All right, this that's the that's basically the workout. We've learned how to play thirds on the sixth, the fifth, the fourth, and the second strings are using the first form. We've learned the second form, which works only on that third string. I've taken you through slow, we've taken them up, we've taken them down. You now grab those, put them in different keys, put them in different uh, chord combinations, and that'll be your, your um, uh, practice for doing that. I've got you some practice tracks if you wanna do that. Just grab what you can, make some music with it. It's not just scale exercises. Anybody, I can get a robot to do this. That's not. What I can't get a robot to do is to go, to create something using these intervals. That's the key. Take it out of just knowledge and put it into your own creativity and start expressing what uh, the music is that's inside of you. You gotta work hard to get it out sometimes. That's what this is all about. Hey, I'm Steve Krenz for Guitar Gathering. Keep up the great work in your learning. If you like the content that we do, uh, check more uh, out on our YouTube channel and take a second to subscribe. Appreciate you guys, we'll see you next time.